Hey, welcome back to the channel. So a little while back, I did a video on how to use your Mac in VR. And since I've done a bunch of Chromebook videos on this channel, people were asking me about doing the same thing with a Chromebook. Now, while you can't do it the exact same way, today I'm gonna to show you how to use your Chromebook desktop in VR. Now, we're gonna be doing this on the Quest 3, but this will work with the Quest headsets, it'll work on the Pico 4, because really all we're gonna be using is the browser and an extension for your Chromebook. So if you have any questions or comments or anything as we go along on this, please let me know down in the comments section. And with that out of the way, let's jump into this tutorial. All right, so here we are on the Chromebook desktop and we are gonna just open up our browser and navigate to this website. It's remotedesktop.google.com slash support. If you just go to the, the main page here and then click on remote support, um, we have two options. We can share the screen or we can connect to another computer. We wanna share this screen, so we're gonna click this button to download the extension for our Chromebook. So we're gonna add this to Chrome. Go ahead and add the extension and that Chromebook extension has been added. So now if we reload this page, we now have the option to generate the code. We're gonna click on generate code and we just wanna leave this up for a minute because now the rest of this we are gonna do inside the VR headset. All right, so here we are in our Quest headset. You can see me in the mirror over there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a browser and we're gonna go out to the same site that we went to on our Chromebook. So we're just gonna open the browser and you can see that I'm already out here. We're just gonna go to HTTPS, remotedesktop.google.com slash support. And this time we want to connect to another computer. So this is where we need to put in that code that is on our Chromebook, but we can't really see the Chromebook screen right now because we're in VR, so let's go ahead and turn on pass-through. You can also do this on the Pico headsets. And then now, if we just readjust this a little bit, we can see 0509, 0509-9114-99852. So we're gonna put that in, we're gonna hit connect. Now you can see at the bottom, it's asking if we want to allow the connection. So we're gonna go ahead and hit share. And now we are connected to our Chromebook. We can go back into our virtual environment if we want, if we just want to use our Chromebook in VR in here. And as we move the mouse on the screen, we can see it move in our browser in VR. Now, if we want to make this more immersive and see what we're typing, because we can't see our keyboard right now, we can turn on pass through again so that we can see the keyboard. And then we can also come up to this little arrow on the right hand side here Click that and then we can go to full screen. Now we have our desktop in full screen and it depends on the Chromebook that you have. So mine does not have a 16 by nine ratio, it has a 16 by 10 ratio. So as it doesn't fill the screen, there is an option to resize to fit, but for me, it doesn't work. It just, uh, it cuts off the edge and then I have to move around to see the whole screen. So I'd rather just have those bars. But if you have a Chromebook that has a uh, 16 by nine resolution, it'll fill that up. And now we can use our Chromebook. We can do whatever we want. YouTube videos work. We can do all our work in VR. And we have this big giant screen right in front of us. We can see the world around us. <laughs> you can see me with the headset on there. This is my office. And you can uh, look down and see the keyboard so you can see what you're typing as you use this in VR. It works really well and it's a great way to have a larger screen without having a larger screen on your device. You can take this with you when you're traveling in a hotel or whatever if you want a large monitor and still be able to use your Chromebook to its fullest. So that's it, super easy and portable solution for being able to use your Chromebook in VR with that larger screen. Again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. If you like this, hit that thumbs up. If you really liked it and wanna see more, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for stopping by.